guys so welcome to or welcome back to my channel um if you're new here my name is lauren fant and today i'm going to be filming my current favorites so it's kind of going to go over like all different types of stuff i have beauty i have books and stationery i have clothes and then i have like an other category with just some random things so i'm going to be sharing those with you guys today and letting you know where i got them and what i like about them and all that stuff. So let's get into the video. So first I'm gonna start with beauty. Now this one I think is already like an obvious for most people, but it's Aquaphor. But what's my current favorite part about this is that I recently discovered this small bot, um, little container bottle, whatever. And I've never seen them like this before in this type of container and I just love it. like. It fits so perfectly into my purse, into my fanny pack, into like whatever type of bag I'm using and I just really love them. So that's a current favorite of mine. And then also next, another non-surpriser, but it's the um, Sol de Janeiro body perfume, body mist. I don't know if it's perfume or like a, oh yeah, it's a perfume mist. So I recently got this. I've been debating for a long time. I'm always like, it's so like hyped up. I'm like, I feel like it's probably overrated. Like. It's so expensive, blah, blah, blah. But I've always wanted to find my signature scent and like to find something that like smells good and lasts for a while because I feel like every perfume I've ever had like doesn't last long. And so that is really annoying for me. I want it to last throughout the day and where I'm going and stuff like that, what I'm doing. And so I was like, okay, I'll splurge and I'll try it. If it works, like it's a good investment and it's like not that expensive compared to a lot of perfumes. I'm just personally someone that doesn't usually spend this type of money on products like this. But I tried it and I really like it. I've gotten a lot of compliments since I've started wearing it, which I know people say, but I honestly was like, I don't know. But honestly, I do really like it. And so, yeah, I would recommend this. And now for like makeup type products. I recently got the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara because I heard, a, I just heard things about it online. I'm always searching for a good mascara. I've never found like my holy grail mascara. And I don't know if I would say this is my holy grail mascara, but it's currently my favorite. Um, I changed my opinion a lot when it comes to mascara, but currently this is my favorite and I've been really liking it. Um, you can't really see right now because I'm too far away from the camera, but um, I do really like it and I'm wearing it right now. Next is something I've implemented into my makeup routine more over the last year. I never used to do a lot with my makeup routine, but now I've added things like blush and highlight and bronzer. And so this is my current favorite bronzer. It's the, do you pronounce it NYX or NYX? I think it's NYX. Um, Professional Makeup Wonder Stick. Um, it's a dual stick, so it's kind of like a lipstick type packaging, and you twist it up. So that's the bronzer, and there's also, it's like a high, I guess you could call it like a highlight, but I've actually never used it, um, because I have a highlighter I like, and I prefer that one, but I do use this bronzer every time I do my makeup, and I do really like it. I have the, what shade is it, um, Universal Light. And I really have been liking this and I found that like with some of my past bronzers that I was trying they would break me out and this one I have not noticed that so I've enjoyed that <clears throat> and I think this is the last like makeup but this is a liquid blush it's by Revolution super dewy liquid blush um and this is what it looks like and I just got it from Target I just randomly grabbed it to try it and I do actually really enjoy it I just use two little dabs and it's affordable. That's the thing about all my makeup is like, I don't use a lot of the brands you see online. Like, now finally for beauty, like the beauty products, these hair ties, they're like mini scrunchies, but um, I use them as if they're hair ties, but obviously they're less damaging for your hair. Now, I don't know if this would work well for someone with long hair. I used to have really long hair. Um, and I just would say now that this probably would not work for my long hair to hold it up. But with my shorter length hair now, this works really great. I use it for ponytails, buns, all those things, braids. And I really love them. And obviously because it's a scrunchie, um, 
it's less damaging to your hair. So I would highly recommend this to anyone who's trying to replace hair ties, like they're just the regular black hair ties. So yeah, that's what we can do. I think we're gonna go to books and stationery. So I do love books, I love stationery, I love all those things. So I have a good few products to show you guys. Starting with this journal, it's my current journal. I started journaling um, in this just this year and I finished one already. And this is my second one, which I actually was given by some friends of mine for my birthday, but I'm pretty sure um, it's from Target. Um, it's by Sugar and Paper Essentials. And I really love it. It's got a little bookmark, which I love. It's got a little heart on it. And it's just very simple, not too big. So I can just throw it in my bags and stuff that I want to. And I really love this. So that I recommend. Next is this pencil bag that I recently got from Barnes & Noble. It's for, I've got it for like my book tabs and like my annotating supplies for when I'm reading. And that is what I'm using it for, and I really love it. It's just cute. It has books all over it, some glasses. Like, it's just really cute. And this was from Barnes & Noble. I think it was. <laughs> but next is actually part of this um, is my book tabs, which I have bought all of my book tabs off of Amazon. And a lot of my stationery and a lot of my products that are in this video will be on Amazon. And all of them will be linked to my Amazon storefront. And, and that you can find on my YouTube, on my Instagram, my TikTok. My Pinterest even, it's always linked everywhere you can find me. So definitely check out my Amazon storefront if you like any of these products that I've shown and you wanna try them out for yourself. But anyways, I started out, I think when I first bought book tabs, I bought like a pack of a thousand, maybe 2000, I'm not really sure. Um, and I really liked those, but I noticed like I was running out of certain colors really fast and like other ones I wouldn't. But I always kept going back to those certain colors. So recently I bought a larger pack of like 2,400 pieces. Um, and it was only like $10 for 2,400 pieces. And I got all these book covers. And they're just, um, our new book tabs, sorry. And they just have really cute colors. They go from like bright neon colors to really pretty pastel colors, simple colors. And I just love these so much. I use them. Every time I read a book, I get all excited to find colors to match each book. And I put them in the book cover and I use my pencil and I annotate and I love it so much. It's like therapeutic for me. So I would highly, highly recommend these. They are so affordable. You get so many and they're really, really cute. So I think it's a great product to buy. Next, this item is from Target. Um, it's a, it's by the brand Post-it. So like sticky notes. Um, that's what I've always called them since I was a kid, but it's a to-do list pad. I've already used pretty much all of it, but it just shows, I don't know if you can see like how it's organized, but it does the dates, like my top three goals of the day, my to-do, my schedule, morning, afternoon, evening, and then it has like a big note section down here. And I love this thing. I, another, I guess, so recently I have anxiety. I know I talk about, I've probably talked about that a lot, but so I've recently been like okay maybe I should try coloring like a lot of people have started coloring again like it's a new thing now that like adults are coloring too so I was like I should get like a cute coloring book and anytime I'm like at night like I'm just chilling on the couch with my family and I'm feeling really anxious and the tv or something isn't really distracting me I can do something creative like this and it can distract me it can be calming things like that so anyways I got this cottage core like aesthetic um coloring book off of Amazon recently and it is so cute it has like the cutest stuff let's see like these pages like it's literally like dishes pretty dishes and like jams like I don't know I just find this stuff so cute so I would highly recommend this for anyone with anxiety um or really any mental health struggles like if you just need something to do when you're need to be distracted, I guess. Like, that's what I find it best for, you know, instead of sit sitting there thinking about things and creating problems in my head, I can do something like this. And that isn't like sitting on my phone and sitting on your phone can honestly just cause more anxiety. So this has been a good alternative. And also my recent Bible study, I think I've talked about this in my videos before, but it's the seamless Bible study and I do have coffee stains, so ignore those. But I'm sure, I've, I mean, I've seen this online a lot, um, 
and I've had it for a long time, but I never actually went through it. But recently I've started going through it and I'm really, really loving it. It's, it really just kind of explains the Bible as like one complete story. It connects all the dots throughout the Bible and relates it to current day, like history and things like that. It kind of shows you like, how, I mean, it just relates everything perfectly and twines it all into a perfect story. And it's just really great. And I really love it. And I've been learning a lot, seeing more details in the scripture and stuff like that. So I would really, really recommend this for and finally for books and stationery, because I know I kind of have a lot for that, is my recent favorite read. Um, and I have also seen this on the internet in the book world though. So if you're not on the don't watch booktube or go on book talk, like you may have not seen this. So here's me telling you about it. It's called Once Upon a Broken Heart. And it's just a really pretty cover, first of all. And then I have my beautiful tabs, of course. Um, but anyways, I recently read this book because I've been kind of like a fantasy mood, like only reading fantasy books, really. Um, so I read this because my favorite booktubers, Sarah Caroli, Destiny Sidwell, and Haley Pham, um, have been reading this. Um, I think it's a trilogy, but I don't think the third book has come out yet. So I'm definitely going to be reading the second one um, very soon, as soon as I can get it. And I just finished this one, like, I think last week, and I really, really loved it. It was really great. Um, I would highly recommend this to anyone who likes um, fantasy, romance, just cute stuff like that. But it has a really good plot and, like, a mystery almost to it. Like, an, they're just really trying to figure something out. There's action. There's diff all kinds of different characters. Um, I love fantasy worlds because they're so different than ours and they're so magical and just, it reminds me of like watching Disney movies as a kid, you know, and escaping into that fairy tale world. Fantasy, I feel like is that for adults. So <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, as you can see, I have plenty of tabs, so I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to read the next one and see what happens. So I would recommend this. All right, let's see, I have notes to keep me on track, but the next category I think is gonna be like um, clothes, let's do clothes. I don't have a lot for clothes, but I have a few pieces that I've just loved recently. I'm kind of, um, I struggle with summer styles. I mean, this isn't summer clothing really, but so I'm currently don't have a lot of favorites because I'm trying to figure out how to dress for this summer. But anyways, first of all, this is like an accessory, but I recently worked with um, Princess Polly and I was able to get this bag with through working with them and it's just this like I guess you could call it a crossbody bag but you can also just wear it like that you know and it's so cute it reminds me of those Bagu brand bags but it is smaller in size but I still am able to fit so much in here and it's just I love the material because it's like wipe clean type material like Oh, it's just so cute and it's definitely lighter in person. I feel like it's dark on camera because the lighting in here is kind of mid for sure. But um, I've really been loving this and it's this. Next up is a pair of jeans that I recently got from Great Bandit, I believe. <laughs> It'd be really sad if I was wrong. But um, they're from Great Bandit and they're just like they have holes whatever they're kind of baggy but they fit really nicely around like my waist and my hips and my curves and everything and I really really have been loving these so I would definitely recommend to check these out I would definitely check out Grey Bandit jeans because I really love these they're very comfortable too like I often I have a really hard time finding jeans um because I actually I am 4'11 I am very short um I'm 4'11 and I'm curvy so it's like, um, I just, it's hard for me to find jeans that fit, that are like not too baggy in certain areas and too tight in certain areas. Like they're usually too tight in like my hips and my butt and then too baggy in my legs. And it's just a whole process. I can often not find jeans that I like. And so these are currently definitely a favorite of mine because they actually fit and they don't like suffocate me or anything like that. So I really love them. They're very comfortable and they're pretty much the only jeans I've been wearing right lately. So I would recommend Lastly, we're gonna go through like my other category, which kind of, I don't know, I have like accessories. I have like a water bottle. I mean, that's literally it. I have two things, so. <laughs> but now 
for this, this is my current favorite water bottle. I am a lover of all things water bottles, mugs, cups. I'm a collector. If you know me, you know. So this is my current favorite like water bottle. Um, I think it's 20, no, it's 30 ounces. It's a Stanley. Now, as I said before, I'm not someone that usually spends a lot on certain things. Um, I was a Hydrofast girly. I, that's one of the things that I would spend my money on because like I love water bottles and things like this. I drink so much water throughout the day that I take it everywhere with me. I'm always using it. So it's definitely something I'm willing to spend money on. Now Stanley's, as we all know, are kind of pricey. And so I wasn't really interested in the handled ones because I just feel like with my day-to-day -day life, it would be difficult because um, they can easily spill. They're kind of large and hard to maneuver uh, with the handle and the straw. So I wanted to see if they had like a version that was similar to the Hydrofask. And they did. I found this on Amazon. I have it in like the cream beige color, which I love so much. And I got it on Amazon and it was on sale. And I think it, I mean, it's Amazon and it's often on sale for this price. So if I'm not sure if it is now, but you can definitely check in my Amazon storefront and see. But I got it for $30. And I think the regular Stanley's that like everyone has right now can be like $70. So I was super excited about this purchase and I love it so much. And it still fits in all your cup holders, which as we all know, Hydro Flask never did. So like, I love that. And it has this pull up straw that is like the Hydro Flask and it has this handle and it's like, I love it so much. So I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this. Um, and finally, we have my sunglasses. So I am terrible at finding sunglasses that I like. I don't really branch out a lot like most people do nowadays. I'm a very um, basic style type person. So I recently found these. They look a lot like my blue light glasses, but they're sunglasses. They're just, they look like this. And I really love these so much. I love the shape. I love the color. I I mean, I have them like that for my blue light glasses and I love those. So when I saw these, I was like, yes, I want those. So, and they were very affordable off of Amazon as well. And I really love these. So if you're looking for some simple basic sunglasses, definitely check these out. I think that's it for like my current favorites of like the last few months, I'd say. Um, I could do like a holy grail like all-time favorites video. I definitely have a lot of those in like all different categories. So if anyone would I would like to see that, please let me know and I will do that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't talk too much or too fast. I definitely can see myself doing that. Um, and this is like kind of my first sit down video. So I'm still kind of new to this. I'm not really sure how to do this right and properly. We'll see if editing this goes well too. Um, Cause I've never edited a sit down video. I only edit vlogs and things like that. So we will see how this goes, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys check out some of these products cause I really do recommend them. They're affordable. I love them and just, yeah. So these are things I love. So I would love to see you guys love them too. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one and like and subscribe if you enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Also, I wanted to add this in just because I just thought of it, but I am getting over a cold. So if I sound like it, I can't really tell myself, but if I sound like I'm, I have a cold or something, that is why I'm getting over a cold. I apologize if I sounded like that the whole video. Um, and if it bothered you, but...